What's up, cats, ladies and gents, YouTube, homies, anybody watching this? Pretty much. We've got a special video for you today that I've been just itching to do. Yeah. I um, mean, we, we've, we've researched and tested and done everything that we can do to these products because we want this video to be as good as humanly possible. Yeah, we, we really sat down and we decided that this was the one where we really, you know, we try to make all of our videos as best as we possibly can, but we did put a lot of time, a lot of research and everything into this exact video. And for, I guess maybe, I, I, for a couple of different reasons, but one reason in particular, Vandy Vape. Yeah. Vandy Vape is the key here. Yeah. Absolutely. They, and before we show you the products that we're going to review, I just want to talk about Vandy Vape for a second. Yeah. Vandy Vape, to me, anyways, here, they started in, they became a company in 2016. Mm -hmm. So, if, if, they're new. Yeah, so I mean, if but if you know kind of the backstory of Vandy Vape or anything like that, it involves Stefan Z. Mm -hmm. And with Stefan Z, he was the main creator in Geek Vape. Yeah. And for reasons unknown to me, anyways, to me and Alex, he left Geek Vape started Vandy Bay. Yes. And he is their CEO and their was it chief creative designer chief creative or something designer, like that. Yeah. I can't I can't remember the exact name, but, but he's he, top dog. Yeah, he's running that show. He, he's he running is top Bay. dog. I mean, pretty much any device that comes out of Vandy Bay, I'm pretty sure Stefan Z has had some kind of input on it. Yeah, And for absolutely. damn good reason, because this dude is a genius. Yeah, he knows what he's doing, man. He can sit down and he can make an absolutely fantastic baking product. And he's just, you know, every single product that he and I have had from Vandy Vape, and we have multiple, you know, this is probably going to be our first video on Vandy Vape products. But first of many. First, first of, of many, but it will be the first of many for a good reason. We yes. really like Vandy Vape. Everything that we have by Vandy Vape is just phenomenal. There's nothing wrong with any of the products we have. Everything just vapes super nice. It really does. I mean, for, for the price that you're paying for these devices, for the quality of the device that you're getting, is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, I mean, for lack of a better word, they're just absolutely stunning devices. I they mean, they really they're, are. They're great. Absolutely. I, they they are some of the best I've ever gotten to have my hands on. And I, you know, we we started off, you know, I started off using, you know, standard old stuff. You know, I was around when the sub ohm revolution kind of took over the sub ohm tanks and everything else. So, being able to have these products now that both he and I have gotten really into this and really into building, really into trying out all this new stuff has been just amazing everything that we've gotten from them has just been incredible yes that, that is god's honest truth mm -hmm. mandy vape and stefan z they're, they're phenomenal they're, they're doing things that are just just recreating the whole vape game yeah. they're just they're just changing shit up and mm -hmm. it's doing great um so what we're going to show you are, we're going to show you the devices that we're going to review today we've got the kylan here and the go -bad. and the go -bad. From Vandy Vape. Both these are these. two RDA, uh, two RTAs. This is a single coil clamp style mm -hmm. RTA. Yep. And mine is a dual co dual coil postless style RTA. And as to where they're 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 somewhat similar, but they're completely different in each their own. But the biggest thing we wanted to get to, and to let y'all know, is Vandy Vape is killing it. Dope. They they are just kicking. Ass. I mean, they're doing great. Everything that they've come out with has just been almost revolutionary. They've really been helping the bottom feeding game, which is, you know, a big, yeah. a big thing for me. They've really helped kind of step that up. They're working with different reviewers, different YouTubers, and they're just coming out with all these products that have been incredible. I mean, everything that they've come out with has either been something almost groundbreaking or making it more available to the masses. Or it's just such a great product that everybody wants one. Has, has the people met Jack yet? I don't know if they've met Jack yet, but here... This, this is Jack, everybody. What's up, buddy? I ain't doing. This is Jack. He, he's our... Uh, he, he's our. Uh, I wouldn't say mean, but he's the one that doesn't want to be bothered. Right now he's trying to jump yep. out of my arms. He doesn't like camera. Jack. Yeah. Back to, back to what I was talking about. Vandy Vape, to me... They're a company that is, they're just, they're, they're groundbreaking company. They're, mm -hmm. in just a year, in just one year's time, mm -hmm. they've come out with so many products so many. that are top shelf. Oh, I mean, yeah. just top, I cannot think of a Vandy Vape product where I'm like, mm, it's, it's all right. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Every single Vandy Vape product that we've seen, we have an interest in, and every single one that we have actually gotten has been incredible I, and one of the best things to me about vandy vape is they're making this affordable they're making every single product incredibly affordable for anybody so if you're on a budget 
and you want a really good RDA or a good RTA or yeah. even a good, you know, a me mechanical mod, anything, they have it. And not it, only just good. I mean, good is like that's kind of downplaying. Yeah, it really bit. is. Like, they, it's these, really is. These devices are awesome. I would have easily, easily dropped 50, 60 bucks on this thing. Happily, happily. But the best part is 30, 30 bucks. bucks. 30 bucks. 30, 35 bucks. Yeah. Insanely Even reasonable. cheaper on some sites. <laughs> yep. I, I, there is nothing I can think of that made me say, you know, I really wish I didn't buy this. Yeah. Not a single thing in my mind that makes you go, man, you know what? I could have I could have done without this. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I have absolutely no bad things to say no. about the Kylin, about the GoVad, no. about Dandy Vape itself. This thing has, you know, fantastic airflow, fantastic flavor. Building the coils on this thing is so easy. I can't even... It, it takes me maybe a minute to slap a coil on this thing. Yeah, it doesn't take long to build a coil in this no. thing at all. It's very, the very bad. It is. If y'all have seen the Faro deck... It's pretty much the exact same deal. You just got you got your two leads going out this way. You, you you put it in. You screw your clamps down. You clip your leads. You're good. And the best part is, it's spring loaded. Yeah. So there's no sitting here and unscrewing well, you have it. To turn it upside it. down and put your coil in or, that way. You know, trying to get it, it into up. a bevel or something like that. No, it's spring loaded. So you literally just unscrew it and it pops right and up for you. The clamp starts coming up. And then you just slap your coil in there, screw it back down, tighten her off. And you're good to go. Yeah, it's simple. And with this postless deck, you just oh, you yeah. clip your leads to where they need to be. I mean, that the, stick the it in. Postless deck's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you figure out where to clip your leads, man, it's a cinch. Yeah, I literally it took me five minutes. I, just, just I, right I, now before we before we shot this video, I recoiled it, I re-wicked it. It took me five minutes. Yeah, we cleaned these things out. We recoiled, re-wicked, and these things, you know, even there's no break in, no nothing. It's just all just straight up immediate flavor and immediate good cloud production i mean they're just they're fantastic devices there's nothing there's nothing wrong with these devices and if y'all can see i'm puffing and i'm puffing and i'm puffing and i'm puffing and i'm not giving it any time to have to resaturate because it's it it, it wicks that great mm -hmm. it wicks that damn good oh yeah and these things once you once you get the wicking down they wick really efficiently really efficiently yeah, I, I mean, there's literally no time to I have mean, to... I got bubbles, you got bubbles. Immediate bubbles. Yep. So, yeah. I mean... Just immediate bubbles. Yeah. These Can't are fancy. too great, but there, there's bubbles popping up every time I'm taking a hit. Just bubbles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I do have to say, just me personally, I do feel like wicking on the Kylan's a little bit easier because it's got these big old just, you know, wick slots. Yeah, you, you'll old. see that again in the close-up. Yeah, there, there's, The decks are different. Because they're just two different types of decks, mm -hmm. but his wicking holes are a bit smaller than the Kylin's. And you'll also see in the close-up the airflow that they have on these things are really cool. They both have a 3D style airflow system, yeah. where it hits from the bottom and the sides. So you're getting airflow just hitting almost this entire coil, and you're getting such good cloud production, such good vapor, <sighs> such good flavor. Oh, oh man! I mean, even you know this has got a little bit of a chimney on it. This has yeah. got a little bit. Of, you know, it's kind of a tall chimney. But the flavor is great. I would almost say it's RDA. It is. It is the incredibly close to all RDA. Of these things are just phenomenal. So, absolutely fantastic devices. Absolutely. I mean, like I said a second ago, the only slight issue I have with this thing is it's a little. It takes some time to get used to the wicking. But once you're used to it, it's no big deal. So before we jump into you know maybe what we like or don't like about it, let's let's take you into the close up and show you what's in the close up. We're gonna mm -hmm. do that right now all right guys here's your uh here's your packagings here for your govad and your kylan rta by vandy vape mm -hmm. let's show you the kylan first here's your cover sleeve on the side here it tells you a little bit about the company and all that kind of nonsense mm -hmm. from the back it shows you your deck and you got some features about it yep. i'll leave it there so you can pause it if you want to and take a look at it on the side here you got your barcode and the color mm -hmm. and that's really all there is to the main sleeve here yep go ahead and just pop that off and just so you know, that's the same thing on the Kylin. It's just let you know a little bit about the company. It shows your deck and you got your features. Again, mm -hmm. I'll pause it if you want to take a second. Mm -hmm. And then you got your barcode and the color. Yep. That's all there is to the cover sleeve. And then inside the GoVad here, you're going to get your GoVad RTA. Now, this doesn't come with the green O-rings. We installed this um, ourselves, but... You know, it comes with all kinds of different colored O-rings, so you can customize yeah, it. Yeah, it, it does have. Th this came with more colored O-rings than the Kylan did. Mm -hmm. Stay. Okay. Good then more. you're going to get yourself an extra glass tube here in mm -hmm. case this one breaks. 
and I believe it was a uh, what five mils? Four mil. Four mil. Four mil. Four mil glass. Four mil glass, and then it comes with your standard Ultim tip here, which mm -hmm. I really like the Ultim. But if you don't like your Ultim, it comes with a five ten Delrin. Uh -huh. Well, not five ten, eight ten Delrin. This is eight ten. And inside the deck here, or inside the box here, you're going to get all your different colored O rings, extra post screws. You get a couple of extra springs there. Mm -hmm. And then you have this right here, it actually comes installed when you get it to make it two mil compliant for mm -hmm. Europe. Yep, TPD. And then you also get your little tool here, which we'll show you what that's for in just a moment. Yep. Over to the Kai Lin. It's the same deal with the cover sleeve again. It's got a cool little logo on it though. Yeah, good little nice logo. I like the co yeah. the, lo the logo on that one. Oh, I can't talk. And then you got your Kyle in here. Very nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows I picked green because I love green. Nice gold plated chamber. And then inside, it, oh, it comes with your Ultim tip again. Mm -hmm. And then this one came with a fattish wider bore 810 Delrin. Mm -hmm. And then what looks to be like your standard 510 810 Delrin. Mm -hmm. And then it has an extension piece here to where if you want to make it a six mil. Mm -hmm. Yep, right now, whenever you get it, it's in a two mil capacity, and then you can change it over to six mil if you'd like. You got your six mil glass tube here, mm -hmm. and then it gives you another two mil glass. Again, you have the same book as the other one, pretty much, just mm -hmm. with a different device in yep. it. Very nice, though. I don't like the colors, like how they printed it. Yeah, and then the only other col colored o ring I had was green. And then that it comes with the clear O-ring installed when you get it. Mm -hmm. it. Comes with an Allen wrench for your deck. You get extra post screws. 510 drip 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 tip adapter. The 510 drip tip adapter. And then you have your uh, tool again, which we'll show you in just a second. Mm -hmm. Taking it apart, we'll jump on the GoVad here. Unscrew your top cap. And you got your some wide wide kidney shaped filling holes there. Very easy to fill. Take the deck out. I'm not gonna take the glass and everything apart because there's really no need for that just at the moment. But here's your deck. It's a standard post list or a spring style. What would you call that deck? I, can't um, I, I think this would be considered a, what's a clamp, style. clamp style. Yeah, clamp spring. style spring deck. There you yep. go. Yeah. It's, um, the airflow is a 3D airflow, so it hits kind of the sides and the bottom of the coil all at the same time. You got your bottom airflow coming straight up there, and then you've got these slots here on each side to hit right at it at an angle. Yeah. And then, yeah, it comes with those two posts, spring loaded, very, very easy to build on. It's a little messy here, guys, because we're trying to show you two devices, but mm -hmm. for good reason. The same deal here. I'll take the top cap off the Kyle Lin. And since his is all black, I'm going to show you what this tool is for with mine. And this tool here is to be able to take this top part off. To where you can actually disassemble your entire tank. Mm -hmm. And it's the same deal on the GoVad. Yep. And then unscrew your chamber here. And you have your postless deck. Mm -hmm. Just a straight postless deck. You unscrew the screws, pop your coil in, screw it in from the side, straighten them out, and then re wick it, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And that is your Kylin postless deck. Yep, the airflow is pretty similar to the GoVad where it hits pretty underneath much. and the sides at the same time. Yep, got your bottom straight from under your coil airflow. Mm -hmm. And then you got your two holes here on each side to hit it at an angle on the side. Yep. And well, that's it everybody. That's your Kylin and your GoVad disassembled and everything that comes in your package. Mm -hmm. We'll see you back up in FaceTime in just a moment. All right guys, so that's your close up. Yep. Everything that comes in the package, I've taken it apart and show you what that little tool is for. Mm -hmm. Little tar pick looking deal. And showed you, show, like you see how he was talking about how it's got like the, what was it, the 3D the, yeah, airflow. Yeah, 3D airflow. Where where it where it comes kinda... from the bottom and the sides. Yeah. And, I mean, really, Stefan Z is a freaking genius. Yeah, he really is, man. That that airflow design was incredible just because the holes, I mean, they're, they're pretty good sized, but they're not nearly as big as a lot of other RTAs or yeah. anything I've seen like that, and you still get just as much airflow, just as much flavor, and just as much cloud production out of it. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean like, to me, like... Comparing it, comparing it to a couple of like RD, RTAs and RDTAs that I've mm -hmm. seen here recently, like for example, just the, that Skyhook. Yeah. Like the deck itself just looked kind of like a like I, I guess like a cheaper quality of metal, mm -hmm. I guess type yeah. deal. 
Yeah. That's where, like, looking at this, like, it looks... The gold clean. plating is clean. It's just like, super clean. And, I mean, when, when I got this thing, you know, I know you're supposed to clean out your RTAs before you use them. I do know that. But I was impatient when I got mine. I was Same. very impatient. So Same. I went ahead and just built it up and yep. went ahead and did it. There was no oil. There was no, you know, anything. There was no blemishes, no anything. This thing Nothing. was just perfect. And whenever I built it and I wicked it up and had it going, it just immediate good flavor, good cloud production. Nothing... You know, to make yeah. me go, nothing to make me go, ooh. You yeah, know, no, I mean, nothing that, like that. I, I, I don't, I, I, I wish I could work for Vandy Bay. That's about all I can really say. Like, I don't wish I could be a part of their damn team because they they are just, they are kicking yeah. butt. Like, it, they, they are really, really pushing the vape industry forward right now with all these fantastic products. And again, the fact that they're so affordable. Yes. That, that That is a huge thing yes. for me. Yes. God, like, I, I, I can't quit. I, like, I just, I cannot quit talking about how great. Bandy Bay, yeah, is doing. They, oh my God, they're such, they're such they're they're such job. an incredible company, and they're doing such good things for the vape industry that I just I'm very very glad that I found out about them. And I'm very very glad that they're doing as well as they are. Yeah, because what I'm hoping is we'll see Bandy Bay products just for years to come. Oh yeah, and, I, and with the way they're going, I don't see why we shouldn't. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't see. So. I mean, they just recently put out the the triple with the Twisted 420. Mm -hmm. They've done the Pulse 22, 24, and the Pulse Mod with Tony B. Mm -hmm. They did the Bonza RDA with the Vaping Bogan. Mm -hmm. uh, they just what was then they, they did they did the Icon with uh, uh, Mike, Mike Vapes. Vapes. And they now did they, the GoVad RDA and then the GoVad RTA. Mm -hmm. This Kylin. I mean, everything then, that they are pumping out is just frick. They got that new uh, the Kensai. Kensai, the Kensi or yeah, whatever. Kensi, Kensai, uh, however, however, you pronounce you, it. however you say that one. That's a new like innovative like honeycomb style like airflow on the bottom, mm -hmm. right right under your coil. Build deck is looks super easy to just go ahead and just toss coil in. Yeah. So, you know, we we have a lot that we're wanting to get for Vandy Vape, and there's a lot that we want to show you guys for Vandy Vape because. <laughs> We really do, you know, there, there, there's a few brands that we're like, oh, yeah, this is good and everything, but we really do endorse Vandy Bay. But when it comes down to it, if I had to just choose one company to yeah. go with overall that I'm, just, that I'm only going to buy from from now on, it would definitely be Vandy Bay for yeah. me. Yeah, if I, here's the thing. If I needed an atomizer or something like that, you know, immediately I'd go straight to Vandy Bay. Vandy Bay would be the first bit. The mods, they don't have that many mods out right now. But I can see it in the future. I can definitely see them upgrading, and I can see them putting out some really great, you know, double eighteen six fifty regulated devices. I can see them coming out with great. Med. They've already got the, you know, the Pulse BF, which is a mechanical squonk mod, that and twenty seven hundred battery. Yep. And so, I mean, I, I could totally see them coming out with a few regulated devices and everything, and them being just, you know, top of the line as well. Yeah. So, you know, if I were to go for an atomizer right now, I have, I, I at least have three or four more atomizers I want to get from Bang Bang. At least. Let, let me let me put it to you this way. Let me put it to you this way. I, me and Alex, we are the type of guys that like to research a product yes. before we just up and buy it. Uh, we we, we want to know what's going on with it. We want to look and see, you know, the build deck. We want to mm -hmm. see the wicking slots. We want to we we, we want to look it up and down before we decide to buy a product. Yeah. When it comes to Vandy Vape, you can just you can just say, hey, it's from Vandy Vape, and I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. I mean, it's that yeah. simple. That that's how good Vandy Vape is. They are. I'm I'm, yeah. a, I'm at a loss for words. We, we can, I mean, we can just... sit here and just gush about Vandy Vape all day long. You know how great they are and how great their products are. But one thing that we need to do right now yeah, is we need to get about in the pros and cons. We need to let everybody know what we like about these devices and what we don't like about these. Let, devices. Let's go with the GoVab. All right, let's start go with the GoVab. The pros. Super easy build deck. Really nice and easy to build on. You know, the gold plating on the deck is incredibly nice. It's all, you know, it looks really good. It looks very Sleek nice and classy. And sexy, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it looks really nice. You know, they, they always give you this Ultim drip tip, which is always a Man, plus. I love me some Ultim. I do too. I really like Ultim. Um, flavor off this thing is incredible. Cloud wow. production off this Phenomenal. thing is incredible. Um, it, it's a single coil device. So, one thing I do like about it is I can run it at much lower wattage. I'm only running this at 50 watts, and it is, you know, it's putting out. It's just, it's putting out. I mean, look at that. It's just nice, dense, flavorful yeah. color. Like, you can't even see us right now. Exactly. So, right. you know, this, this thing is definitely putting out everything I need it to. The only downside to this device that I can think of is the wicking. Just, it, ta it takes a while to get used to. And you just got to play with it. And you can see that the wicking ports aren't the biggest. 
com- yeah, compared to the Kylan here, mm-hmm. the licking slot is about half the size of the right. Kylan licking slot. And the reason so, that is, is because that is a single coil RTA as to where this is a dual coil RTA. It takes more cotton. You can run this thing in single coil, but you need a big old beefy Yeah, you need a massive coil to run in single coil. And uh, another great thing about both of these devices, they both have juice flow control. So, whenever you're filling it up, whenever you're first getting it ready and everything, you turn off your juice flow control, turn off your airflow, and you don't have to worry about these things leaking the first time you fill it up. I, I can even tell you, man, uh, whenever I'm rejuicing mine, I don't even cut off my airflow. I don't either. I really don't. I don't it, have to. Yeah. It doesn't leak. It is that, I mean, it is that seal proof. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to worry about this leaking ever. I mean, as long as you wick these properly, you don't have to worry about it leaking. You don't have to worry about dry hits if you do it properly. So, the GoVad, you know, I mean, it's got it's got the nice, um, see if I can get in here a little bit. It's, it's uh, the airflow control on it. It just slides around, but it's, you know, these two big old massive Cyclops style airflow holes. And they are just... You know, they get in there, they hit, they hit that 3D deck. Yeah. And man, it's just, just, it's amazing. Just immediate flavor right in your mouth. So, you know, like I said, the only con for this, wicking. Once you get used to it, though, it's fine. But it, you, you really got to play around with it because the wicking is just a little finicky until so, you get used to it. Before we jump over to the Kai Lin here, let's go ahead and give the Go Bad our rating. This, I'm going to rate a 9. Just because the wicking, I feel like the, the wicking ports could have just been made bigger. That's yes. my only. That's my only kind of thing with it. If they'd have made the wicking ports just bigger, a sl- just a smidge bigger, it would have been perfect. But because of that, I'm giving it a nine. But still, even then, this is a fantastic device. I mean, look, even now, it's you know, I've got bubbles. It's wicking efficiently, and I, you know, it's it's a fantastic. It's a fantastic RTA. I it love really, this thing. It really, really is. I mean, to go with that is is is, is no joke. So I, I, I'm in agreement with you, man. I'd give that one a solid nine. Yeah. Because I mean, it, it's. Great flavor, great cloud production, mm-hmm. just ease of easy, easy building. Yeah, I mean, just everything about that device is just ease. I yeah. mean, this is all there is to it. It's just easy. Um, even now, like he's he's filling it up and just pop the top cap off, just fill it up, and you're good to go. Yeah, I mean, and I mean, it's just so easy. This these these fill holes are so nice and big. You just go ahead and just pop your juice right in like right. that. Actually, I don't even. And he didn't even cho- close off his juice flow control on that. Nope. I didn't close off anything. There's no need to. It's almost like filling, you know, a sealed up sub ohm tank. As long as you get this thing wicked properly, you don't have to worry about anything. You really don't. You really don't. All right. So off, off to the go that onto the Kylin. Let, let's talk about pros and cons on this one. Pros, every damn thing about it. Mm-hmm. Every it damn really thing is. about it. I mean, the, the postless deck just clip your leads shorter. Pop them in, screw it in, you're good to go. Yeah. Wicking is very, very easy. Two big old giant wicking slots on the sides, and you just stuff your cotton in. Mm-hmm. Just stuff it in. Yep. And cloud production, phenomenal. Get back a little bit. Just phenomenal. And that, that was even, that was a little weak drag. Mm-hmm. Just a little weak one. Yep. Flavor, just immediate flavor in the mouth. Mm-hmm. Immediate flavor in the mouth. I mean... I, the airflow on it, big, wide, Cyclops-style deal like you were just talking about. I mean, just a big old wide. I mean, but our difference in the GoVad to the Kylin airflow is mine is on a clicker type deal. You get three clicks, and it just clicks right into place wherever it's at, mm-hmm. and then clicks back. Yep. His is just a smooth, just, yep, just constant just turn. Kind of swivel style where it just turns right back and forth, but it does it's, stop. It's, yeah, I was about to say, it is on a stopper. It's not a 360 deal, mm-hmm. but it is on a stopper, but it's not a click in the place like mine is. Right. Um, I know a lot of people like how their airflow snaps into place, and so this one right here would be good for anyone who likes their airflow. You know, feel like it's locked in. But this one, I mean, the tolerance on it's fantastic. I've never had it, you know, I've never put it in my pocket and you know, the airflow move or anything. So. Yeah, no, no. It, it's nice and restrictive. I mean, it's not just going to up and move on you like my Dragon Ball where you got to make, every time you go to take a puff, you need to make sure that airflow is open. Yeah, you need open. to kind of double check it. Yeah, you need to double check and make sure the airflow is open. With this, not a problem. No. Pros, on, cons on this thing, I can't think of any. We really can't. For the Kyle Lynn, I cannot think of any kind of pros. And, and I will say that my paint... My green paint is fading a bit in certain spots, which I don't think you can really just see it on camera. And the only reason that is is because I've had it in and out of my pocket, and I've taken it to work with me. Mm-hmm. You know, and that, that's just that's and, user wear and tear. Any device is going to eventually lose some of the finish. That's yeah. just it's it's nature of the beast. It's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. Paint's gonna eventually wear off, uh, and, and the fact that it's just slightly wearing off a bit 
over this amount of time that I've had it. Oh yeah, because we, we like like we always do. We've had these devices for a while, and we've tested them for a long time. Tested them in and out. I mean, we've changed out O-rings. We've taken this thing completely apart. Tried it in the six mil mode. Tried it in the two mil mode. Mm. Tried the GoVad in the two mil mode. Yep. I mean, we've taken that thing completely apart. Changed yep. out O-rings. I mean, we've done everything that we can possibly do to these devices just just to mess with them and test them and see what kind of problems we may run into. And really the only problem we've had out of both of these devices is the wicking on the GoVad. It is it's finicky. Just, it's just a little bit more finicky than this. With this, it's a big old dual coil postless deck and you just stuff your cotton into the wicks hole, the wicking slots. Mm -hmm. That's to where the GoVad is a single coil with a smaller wicking slot. You want to kind of really play with it and thin it out and it really is with the GoVad you just want to, it's kind of, you know, trial and error. Mm -hmm. Trial and error. You, if it yeah, doesn't you, work right this way, you, you just want to maybe thin out your cotton or yeah, maybe you didn't have enough cotton. Or yeah, you, you, you really don't want to just stuff your cotton into this when you kind of just almost want the ends of your cotton kind of touching the base. The base of the the, the uh, wick, wicking slots. That's all you want. But I mean, as long as you can figure it out and you can get it down, it's a cinch. It really, it really is. I mean, the, these devices are just they they are top notch freaking devices. Yeah. So now that we've talked about the pros and cons for the Kylin, give it a rating. The Kylin, man. I'm actually I'm, mm, you know, I'm gonna give it a ten. It's gonna be a ten just because. You know, I, I actually, you know, he we swap we swapped out these devices like we always do with our devices. You know, whenever I buy something, he uses it for a while. When he buys something, I use it for a while. I use this thing for at least a good, you know, two three weeks, and I never had a single issue out of that kind of line. You know, I ran it in six mil mode. I ran it in two mil mode. I will say that you get a little bit better flavor with the two mil mode just because you don't have as much chimney for your vape to travel up. Yeah, there's not much distance for the uh, the vapor to travel. Right. So I mean, you know, you get a little bit flavor off two mil mode, but the only the only really bad part about running it in two mil mode is yeah yeah you do you have, have to, to you have to fill it up quite it, a bit. Yeah, you, know? you do have to fill it up a little bit more often than you would in six mil mode, obviously. But I don't have a con for it. I I really don't. You know, these devices are fantastic. I have absolutely no. No, no, no reason to not recommend these to somebody who knows what they're doing. Yes. I'm not going to recommend it to someone who just got off of cigarettes. But if you've, you know, if you've been vaping for a while, you're ready for something. You know, you're ready for a nice RTA. You're ready for something that's going to give you good flavor, I would good pick juice up either capacity. One of these devices. Yeah, I would definitely recommend these devices. Hands down, no one problem. Of, either one of them are going to be great. Me personally, I would go more towards the Kylin because I'm. You get more color options with the Kylin, you know. and it, it, it's a. It's a dual coil deck as to opposed to a single coil deck. I mean, they have their differences, but overall, they are both top shelf RTAs. Absolutely. Both of them have the 3D airflow. Both of them have just wide open airflow. It's fantastic. Both of them, as long as, again, as long as you wick them properly, they're going to run fine. You're not going to get any leaking and you're not going to get any dry hits. Yes. So, yes. yeah, I would definitely recommend these to anyone who's looking for a good quality RTA. Yes. All right, and we've rambled on enough. I just want to I want to end it first on saying that Vandy Vape is a top top company. I mean, mm -hmm. you cannot go wrong with Vandy Vape. No, you really can't. They and Stefan Z, dude, is a genius. Yeah, he is an absolute freaking genius yes. when it comes to making devices. I, yeah. don't, like, I don't know what's going on in his dome up here, but he's putting he's putting two and two together and making four every time. Yeah, every single every time. Every single daggum time. So, what, what what would you rate Vandy Vape as a company? 10. Hands easily. down, 10. Easily. No question, 10. Easily. So that, that that's going to wrap this up because we can ramble about Vandy Vape and yeah. these products yeah, we, all we day. We really can't. We can go on and on, um, but y'all don't want to hear us sit here for, you know, ever just yeah. gushing about this company. I mean, not that we're bad looking people or nothing. I mean, I mean yeah, I mean, I like looking at me. So. Yeah, I got mute. <laughs> now, now, now that my hair is coming back, I'm looking pretty damn good. Um so yeah, that, that's going to wrap this up. Vandy Vape is a solid 10 as a company. Yeah. They really are. This yeah. Kylin is a solid 10 as a device. This thing is a solid 9, mm. nine and a half. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a great, great device. These, these, we really can't. They yeah, really, we, can't we, we really cannot stress how much we enjoy this company and how much we enjoy their products. You're, gonna, you're definitely going to be seeing more Vandy Vape videos Absolutely. in the near future. You, that, that's going to wrap this up. All that being said, mm -hmm. we're going to get out of here. Yep. Remember to subscribe, like, dislike, comment. We don't care. Make yeah. sure to hit that little bell notification off to the side if you want to get notified whenever we upload a video. Yeah, you'll be one of the first ones to know whenever we release some new content. So 
click the bell, subscribe to us, just and you know, let us know what you think. If you if we're doing a good job, if we're doing a bad job, you know. Well, that's it. That's gonna wrap it up. Y'all have a good rest of the day. Yep. We'll see y'all soon.